Now let's hear some questions on uh, spherical polar coordinates also. And uh, in spherical polar coordinates, first of all, let us recall what are the substitutions. We have to convert x, y, z into a new coordinate r, theta, phi. We have a two angles and one radius. So the substitution is if you are putting x is equals to r sin phi cos theta and y is equals to r sin phi sin theta and z is equals to r cos phi, then uh, the Jacobian comes out to be this r square sin phi dr d phi d theta and wherever there is x square plus y square plus z square which we can write on r square. So this is called a spherical coordinate system and uh, we can see that if theta and phi are interchanged then in place of sine phi I get a sine theta. So th these are some point we, we can see in our questions but before I talk about the question let's see why do we call it a spherical polar uh, coordinate because here if you see every point from the origin has a radius and that radius can take along z axis as a 180 degree and if 180 degree can converted to the 360 we get a sphere so that's why it is called spherical polar coordinate and uh, we will see here that spherical polar coordinate usually used when we have a spheres in the space there is no need of applying anywhere unless and until we have a spheres or we can use it in cones also so sphere and i would say apply it apply when you have a when you have a this equation x square plus y square plus z square is equals to a square or is equals to something in x or something in y but x square plus y square plus z square is required or we can apply we, we call it a sphere and we can also apply over uh, z square is equals to x square plus y square which are called cones but we have a less number of problems of cone mostly all the questions are of sphere so let's see some question of sphere here uh, I have a express volume of a sphere x square plus y square plus z square is equals to a, a square so first task is let me write down that what is the radius so in place of x square y square plus z square we write on r square r square is equals to a square means r is equals to a so i got the sphere of radius a now it is saying me to express the volume of a sphere it is full volume so we have a volume the first formula is integration of dx dy dz and uh, if I am putting x is equals to, if I am putting the above substitution, if I am putting x is equals to this r sin phi cos theta, y is equals to r sin phi sin theta and z is equals to r cos phi. If this is my substitution, according to this substitution, I can write down in spherical polar coordinate that v equals to here, v equals to first let me write down dx dy dz is r square. Now I'll go back and see that what is this common part over here. This is sine phi. So I'll get r square sine with phi angle. Phi is a z angle. Then I can write down dr. When I can write down d phi, then I can write down d theta. Theta is a xy plane angle. So r is because it is a sphere. This sphere is having a center at origin so if this is a sphere if the center is at origin so radius will start from o so r 0 so r is from 0 to i'll write down here r is from 0 to a theta first i'll take the phi angle phi angle is a uh, z axis angle so it will start from 0 to pi and then last angle is a xy plane angle it's a plane angle because line angle is 180 degree plane angle is 2 pi so it is from 2 pi this is called volume or there is no uh, or I can also write like that if I am writing a 1 8th angle octant angle 0 to a or I can write on 0 to pi by 2 or I can write on 0 to pi by 2 and r square sin phi dr d theta uh, d phi d theta what does it mean it means i am only talking about this one eighth part uh, sphere not a full sphere one eighth part 
so one eight part if you multiply eight it means a full 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 volume this is called full volume this is also full volume here i have taken eight uh, times one eighth part so if you multiply eight you get a full uh, volume of the sphere so this is just an expression or let me see if our task is to write into the integrals of spherical polar form so this will be the substitution if your task is only to find the volume of the sphere and you know that what is volume of the sphere otherwise otherwise for answer i am not going to use a, this value otherwise for answer for answer only what will be the volume of sphere volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi a cube so that is a volume so where whatever is a you put over here you get the answer volume of the whole uh, sphere now if you have to express the volume of octant of the sphere here you have seen this octant i have written in this second integral octant means one eighth part so here volume in one octant is that r is here r is equals to 2 here r is equals to a sorry not 2 so r will be from 0 to a what is phi phi is the angle of z axis but i am only talking about one edge so it will be also 0 to pi by 2 and what is theta theta is a full xy plane but i am talking about one edge so it is also pi by 2 so here volume in one octant is one octant is r square sine phi dr d phi d theta or d theta d phi you can write anything first r is from 0 to 0 to a phi is from 0 to pi by 2 and theta is from 0 to pi by 2 so this is a volume of one octant and if i want to find out the answer what is the answer answer i will use directly that is first what is the volume of full uh, sphere this is 4 by 3 pi a cube and i want to find out 1 8 part so when i divide by 1 8 so it is 2 so it will be pi a cube by 6 so that will be the answer so if the answer is demanded we cannot apply the integration we can directly use the formulas but if your task is to write it into the integral then one you should be very careful in writing so I again I want you to make it clear that if this is the substitution we get Jacobian R square sine phi and accordingly angles but if if you have for example if I say that this is the formula if if I put x is equals to this r sin theta cos phi y is equals to r sin theta sin phi and z is equals to r cos theta in that case what will be the volume well then in that case what is dx dy dz in that case dx dy dz is r square you see what is common here sin theta sin theta so that is sin theta dr d theta d phi right so it all depends upon the substitution that what what is the angle with z axis and what is the angle with x y plane so here in this substitution i have they have taken that this is the angle of z axis even uh, one point i want to share if you want to find a volume of an octant means if question is about the volume and we have to write it into the limits so either you can write down the complete limits of the one eighth part or or i can also do this question means this is also the same if question is of octant and if i am writing 0 to a 0 to pi and 0 to 2 pi and i am writing r square and i am writing sin phi dr d phi d theta it means here i am using the full volume now if i divide by 8 answer so i get a 1 8th volume so what i want you to everyone to be very careful in the limits of a sphere that read question carefully if question is talking about that write 
the volume of a sphere then you have to write the full limits but if the question is uh, talking about volume of one octant then this is the answer this is the answer and in addition to that full volume is this but if you are multiplying 1 8 part 8 8 into 1 8 is also the full and here this is this is volume of octant octant means 1 8 part this is volume of octant here without 8 without 8 it is a full uh, but when you are dividing it by 8 so it is also volume of octant octant means one eighth part so this way we can write the limits so read after reading and looking into the limits we can see whether this question is demanding the full integral limits or a one eighth integral limit even if it is a semi if, if i for example if i say what is what is volume of for example i'll see the third one volume of uh, hemisphere hemisphere upper hemisphere upper hemisphere x square plus y square plus z square is equals to a square so it it means i am talking about only this much portion upper hemisphere in a upper hemisphere what is a, a, a let us see what is a volume full volume so first of all let me write on jacobian r square sin phi dr d phi d theta now if i say what is a hemisphere means 50 percent sphere i am taking so angle of z z axis i am not talking about the lower part so first of all r is same 0 to a because radius is same from 0 to a but what about the phi angle phi is a z angle starting from 0 but only up to 90 degree so 1 pi by 2 and what about the uh, x y plane angle now in a hemisphere this full ring is participating so theta limit will be from 0 to 2 pi theta limit is full but z limit is so th these are some points that when it is a 1 8 part both angle are pi by 2 pi by 2 when it is a full one angle is pi one another angle is 2 pi if it is half then one angle is pi by 2 other is 2 pi so this way we can write down the limits.